previously on Tales of Berseria. I had a bad dream earlier. My mommy said I looked scary and that she... She didn't want me anymore. She would never... Your mother would never think that about her daughter. Mothers always love their children, no matter what. No matter if we die. No matter how the world changes. There's nobody who loves you more in the world than... than... Uh... Shit. All right. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Um, so I get here. North Watchtower. I don't think I get here from the first floor. North Watchtower. Yeah, I have to get there from... This place. Okay. Go up the stairs. Hey, do you all have mothers? Hmm? Where'd that question come from? Well, after hearing that Velvet, Kamawana, and Eleanor all lost their parents, I just got curious. My mother was a strict, frightening woman, but she died a long time ago. I see. I have no parents either, but the wicked witch who took me in said I was born from a peach that floated down the river. Coming from you, I'd almost believe that. A and you, Aizen? We Malakim are formed from untainted mana. Sometimes humans are reborn as Malakim, but they retain no memory of their previous lives. In other words, we don't have blood relations like humans do. I see. But he has a By sister. By the time I was aware of anything around me, I was already tethered and being called number two. I suppose having no mother means I don't have any memories before that. I told Medissa that losing a mother is painful, but I can't know how painful it is. Go easy on him, Aizen. He's just a kid. I'm just telling it like it is. But listen to me, Lafi said. You can share deep connections with other people, even if you don't have a biological family. Malakim, too, can form precious bonds, true friendships, even family. That's right. Your words wouldn't have stopped Medissa if they weren't true in your heart. You really think so? I'm sure of it. It's far better than being a witch born from a peach. <laughs> Nonsense! There's no nobler way to be born! <laughs> I have an everlasting friendship with a dog, a monkey, a pheasant, and Bienfu. I hope he's right. Is that a reference to something? Uh... Okay. I go... down? Here. <clears throat> I think Maggie's family story is a Japanese folk story or something like that. Oh. So this it is a reference, but not one I'm getting. You said that Malakim can have familial ties, but what makes you and your sister siblings if you're not related by blood? Exactly. Well, a very long time ago, I was born into this world from an earth pulse point up on a sacred mountain. I remained in that place for a long while, and then one day, she was born from the very same earth pulse point. Before oh. we knew it, we had wound up living together under the same roof. Are two Malakim always siblings if they come from the same Earth Pulse point? No. The other Malakim were born there, but I never felt like they were my family. But something, 
I don't know what was different with her. If she was sad, I'd feel sad. And if I was happy, she'd be happy too. She was probably be human before abrasive. and she was her when she smiles, sister when he was like a human. Else. Maybe. I swore to myself that whatever happened, I would protect her. I made a pendant from a stone on that sacred mountain and gave it to her as a lucky charm. Of course, she just wears it as a necklace. And your pendant? Did she give that to you? That's cute. She had the same idea I had. She made the pendant herself and gave it to me as a good luck charm. Without either of us having mentioned a word of it beforehand, we each gave each other pendants in the same shape on the very same day. That's when I really knew that what I had felt all along was true. We were brother and sister. Is that her in the picture? Yeah. It's a self-portrait she drew for me on the day I left home. Did you draw her a picture of yourself? No. I don't exactly have an artistic side. Well, I'm sure that if you looked inside her pendant, you'd find a portrait of the person who matters most to her. I hope so. Yeah, and it would be nice if it was you. <laughs> Momo Taro. Leave us the name of folk story she's referencing. <clears throat> Run that folk story in ages. Okay, so yeah, it's, it is a reference to Japanese folk story. Momo Taro. Mm. Mine, mine, mine. Ah, <clears throat> <gasps> Grimoire. Hello. Hi. Ah, there you two are. Oh, that's Hi, right. She translated more stuff. Have you made progress deciphering the book? I have indeed. It turns out there was a second counting song. I've already transcribed it. Would you read it aloud for us, child? Okay. Um... When the eight malevolences overflow, in the culmination of mankind's despair, Enominat will bring an end to all peoples and restore them to time immemorial. Four Empyreans shall wield a wrathful sword and cleave the great devourer too asunder to sleep beneath the earth as scarlet moonlight illuminates the evil the nameless empyrean hath one heart the nameless empyrean hath one body oh yet more delightful material to keep us awake at night if i'm understanding this right it's discussing the specific nature of Inominat. that's what i believe yes when the Eight Malevolences overflow in the culmination of mankind's despair, Inominat will bring an end to all peoples. So, when the world is at peak malevolence, Inominat will use that power to bring an end to all. Is that it? He's going to wipe out all of humanity? Is that what the Abbey is after? Is that why they've been trying to bring back Inominat? No, Artorius is not that kind of man. His two primary ideals are the many over one, and the restoration of order through will and reason. He sacrificed Lofi to protect this world, not to eradicate it. You mean that's who he is as far as you know, yeah? People change, Velvet. Perhaps the Shepherd gave up hope. Maybe he lost faith in mankind. Fools prone to sin, endlessly generating malevolence. He's not like that, if that's all true. Then what point was there in Lofi's death? Is there anything else in that book? Yes and no. This copy itself is incomplete. There ought to be further pages, but they're missing. For now, I've done all I can. There must be an original somewhere, right? Without it, I doubt the Abbey would be plotting Inominat's revival. We can be sure they have complete understanding of their Empyrean's nature. But this was the only copy in the royal villa. If the original is out there, who knows where it could be? <sighs> it's getting pretty late. Why don't we call it a day? Yeah, let's get some rest.
Cool. Cool. Uh... Okay, nothing else but to go outside. Let's go. Wait, your guy you guys are in here. Pirates may be lax when it comes to morals, but at least they do their work properly. We're all literally in the same boat. Your life is in everyone's hands and their lives are in yours. It's a simple sort of faith. We don't obey rules written down in some book. We follow the laws of the sea. <clears throat> hey. Uh Bienfu, what's even under that hat? That's a very inappropriate thing to ask a Norman. Where do you get off being so rude, eh? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. What is under that? <laughs> I don't think we'll ever find out. Hey, Lavi Set! Medessa let me sleep in her bed last night! She's warm for a snake lady! That's great! She's gonna help me take a bath now. You should come join us, too. What? Uh, I couldn't. It's okay. I don't mind at all. Um, I... Hey, Kamalana. Did you know? Dial started to grow a brand new tail. What? Go for him! Wow, really? Dial. I wanna see? I'm He's so up proud at the of you. Tower. Let's go see! Modessa, you too! Uh, Alright, but don't run or you'll trip. Poor Dial, man. He deserves to have a new tail. <sighs> Thanks, Eleanor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Having some girl trouble, my little Malik? I'm just glad Kamawana and Medissa are starting to feel better. Yeah, oh they both still have a long way to go, but it's such a relief to see them smiling. We've got bigger things to worry about. Hurry up and locate the next Earth Pulse point. Right, okay. Must you always be so blunt, Velvet? I must, in fact. We're up against the Abbey here, and sooner or later they'll find this place. That's true, but still... Do we go find another hideout? No. We'll keep on the offensive. We'll capture the remaining Therians before the Abbey finds us. As a swordsman, I can respect that mindset. I'm not so sure we could hold this place anyway. We've got no obligation to. I found another Earth Pulse point. It's in the eastern part of East Gand, I think. But that's... All right. We're headed for East Gand. Then our first stop should be Port Taliesin. When Eleanor said little Moloch, what was like, excuse me? What you call him? <laughs> that face. When mankind's despair reaches its pinnacle, Inominat shall reach out and bring an end to all. So that song bothers you too? No matter how many times I read it, I don't see any good in it. Understanding that ancient tongue is difficult, right? Perhaps there's another interpretation? Maybe the end to all actually means an end to all human suffering, for example. That is a possibility. But we're far too lacking in material to know anything for sure. We need the other half of that book, or some other text on the Nominat. We don't have the time to search for it. Wouldn't even know where to start looking. And don't forget that that book is just a copy. Whoever transcribed it might have made an error, too. That's an unexpectedly sharp insight coming from you. That's, I'm that's, an that makes a lot of sense. Errors. <laughs> when Miss Magilu made me copy magic tomes for her, I did it pretty half heartedly. <laughs> Didn't that cause a lot of problems? Well, when she tried to cast a spell from one of the tomes, the spell exploded in her face. It's really her own fault, though. She told me to copy 100 books in three days. That's impossible. Oh, how cruel. Cruel is right. That witch is a real devil, I tell you. A slave driver. Bien Fu? 
Let's go somewhere a little more <laughs> private, shall we? He's in we? trouble. <laughs> Miss Foggy Lou. Hush now. There's no need to worry. I'll make it a half-hearted punishment. <laughs> mm -mm. Better run. Grimoire always looks like she never wants to do any work, but despite all her grumbling, when she starts a job, she gets it done. And quickly, too. She's frank, but she still takes care not to say anything to hurt anyone's feelings. I have to say, I, I like that in a woman. It's charming. Well, sorry if I'm inconsiderate and charmless then. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. You're all still so young and have led different lives. Can't fault you for being you. Well, if you're saying we lack a certain air of maturity, I might not 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 disagree. That's for sure. It's true Lord Artorius has scolded my lack of composure at times. Although I do get the impression that Grimoire has been dependable like that since she was young. And it's a good impression at that. Old Grim's been that way since the day she was born. I hate to admit it, but her combination of insightful words and deadpan expression has charmed the hearts of many a Moloch. At her peak, she had a fan club 8,848 members strong, and her dinner shows would sell out the day the tickets went on sale. Malakim came by the droves to doze off listening to her live readings of ancient books. Wow! I had no idea she was so popular. Yeah, she's even a regular feature in Who's Who Among Norman. Now that I think about it, I could see how a person could interpret her lethargy as patience and her vague dispassion as maturity and poise. Compared to her, I'm just... <sighs> Were you just trying to imitate her? <sighs> no, I didn't mean to. Whether you meant to or not, that kind of felt like her just now. I can see it in you waiting to be awakened. That sophisticated charm. Me? Sophisticated and charming? I don't know. Try talking like her. You know how she lets her sentences trail off. This is your make or break moment here. Uh, all right. I think I know what you mean. Here goes nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Laffy said? Do I sound like her? It feels a little off, but you're definitely doing it. I that think. That wasn't that bad. Aw, <laughs> oh, you don't have to grow up, Madam Eleanor. You are cute just the way you are. Oh, you stay out of this, Bianfu. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many skits. All right. I really care. Next. But who ended up winning the fishing competition when we were trying to catch a Therian? Man, that was a while ago. I lost because I came away with nothing. No, it was a draw. As I'm sure everyone remembers, all I fished up were octopus demons. We were competing over who would catch the Therian. Demons didn't count, so my score was 0 2. No, the loss is mine, and I'm not giving it to you. That's not just something you can up and decide like that. In fact, by fishing up those octopus demons, I put everyone in danger. That should count for negative points. I lost. Who cares? It was all in fun. I care. Every competition must have a winner and a loser, no matter what. That's <laughs> what? just how I see it. <laughs> yeah, oh my I'm gosh, nice really? It doesn't do anyone any good to make the final results murky. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Aizen, your curse would mean that the odds were stacked against you from the start. That doesn't make for a fair competition, does it? Yeah, she's got a good point. We'll just have to settle the score some other way. What can you guys do? Play cards? Chess? What? Cards are a no-go for me. I'll just end up drawing jokers. And I can play shogi, but I don't know chess. Then what about arm wrestling? Would that work? Whoa, whoa! Having a demon and a Moloch clasp hands is just asking for trouble with malevolence. You're both adults, so why not a drinking contest? That's it! If we have a drinking contest, we'll be able to compete on an even playing field. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. I'll have the crew bring out the drinks. Well, that's one way of resolving it, I suppose. Whatever gets it done, I'm not gonna complain. If you guys are gonna have a drinking contest, you're gonna need some tasty snacks to go with Ooh, all that those alcohol, dried right? Octopus or Definitely. whatever. Let's go out and fish Stick us these. some snacks. 
Yeah. Dried squid. Let's take out the little boat. <clears throat> we can even pick up where we left off our fishing competition. Didn't we just figure out he can't really fish? Ugh. We were just about to finally resolve this mess. Why'd you have to go and stick your nose into it? What? Yeah, BM Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do anything wrong. BM. <laughs> oh, it's over. It's over. Talk to you. Oh, I thought you were Dial. I want to see Dial's new tail. Hey, get this. I was out fishing the other day, when before I knew it, I'd wound up near a class four island. Once I realized what was happening, I tried to turn the ship around, but then it got dark all around me. Was it a sudden storm? I wish. It was this great monstrous bird. Damn thing had wings big enough to cover up the whole blasted sky. That sounds like a bit of a stretch to me. the prince's bird. You think I'm lying? Then check it out for yourself. You just might not make it back alive. A huge bird. Hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, Dial. Where's your tail? Where's your tail? It looks the same. This island's really something. No way I'd want to go to prison here, but it'd make a great hideout. If I'm gonna be left in charge of this place, I'll turn it into the best hideout ever. You're in charge? Someone has to look after this place while you're all running around. Maintaining the ships in the base, watching the prince and Medissa, keeping Kamoana company. I'll keep this place running ship shape, so that you all can focus on looking for the Therians. But those are just odd jobs anyone can do. You're a navigator. Isn't that a waste of your talents? You dolt! These are important tasks! Someone's gotta do it! We've got another navigator. But is there anyone besides me that could handle all of this by themselves? Besides, ever since I lost my tail, my balance has been off. The seasickness is killing me! That's your story and you're sticking to it? Tell the truth. You don't want to come because you're afraid you'll be hurt again. Uh, no. That's not it at all. <laughs> it's a Kamoana. Oh, it's you again. I wonder if he fixed that autonomous uh, slicer thingy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I knew it. It was Kamoana. Hey, do you think Dial sheds his skin like other reptiles? I don't know. On the outside, he looks like an Emir monitor lizard. But he used to be a human and is a demon now, so... I kind of doubt it. Oh, my ears are burning red hot right Where'd now. you come from? You're outside. Were you guys talking about me? Yeah, we were. So, Dial, do you ever shed your skin? I'm really curious. Tell me, tell me. That's a little rude to just ask someone, don't you think? You do, don't you? I mean, you are a lizard. No, I don't. Aww. I think you'd be way cooler if you did. Well, he's regrown his tail before. Oh yeah, that's right! Lizards can regrow their tails. That must mean you really do shed, right? No. Those are two totally different things. Although, I did get a bad enough sunburn yesterday that my skin started to peel. Maybe that counts. <laughs> uh, Kamawana is kind of a brat. A little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. If we're gonna ask someone that, ask a little nicer. Jeez.
I'm ready, dude. Let's go. I'm glad to see Kamoana is feeling better. Good should be free to be kids, you know? Yeah. Um. Okay. Somewhere east. Port. Go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Port Taliesin? Is that how you said it? Taliesin? Is this her home or something? Is that why she didn't? <laughs> she had a strange it's reaction. Sour. So you've kept your sense of taste. In my dreams, I have. Nowhere else. Does that make this a dream? It would have to be, wouldn't it? After all, you're here. I devoured you. That's right. Don't you go forgetting it. How could I ever forget it? The taste of your... <gasps> How could I ever... Looks like the fog's rolling in. Yep. Eleanor, there's something I want to be sure we get perfectly clear. Um, all right. What is it? Luffy said is not your little Moloch. I knew she got annoyed what? when she said that. I knew That's it. That's all you wanted to say? You realize he doesn't belong to you either, right? Indeed I do. Luffy said his own person, and not anyone else's. You, you're right. Malachim aren't just tools to be used by exorcists as they pleased. I'll be more careful not to forget that. Good, as long as we're on the same page. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of reminders, you haven't forgotten our little bet, have you, Velvet? You mean the 100 gold on whether I'd break? No, I haven't forgotten. A word of caution. People can fight against pain, but they can't fight against happiness. If you're keen on winning our bet, I'd steer clear of ill-fitting dreams. Sorry to break it to you, but all I have anymore are nightmares. The fog's cleared. Good thing we didn't wind up getting lost in it. Of course we didn't. Who do you think is running this ship? A bunch of shameless rogues who are very good at shameless roguery. Damn straight. <laughs> but it's strange. These waters don't usually see much fog. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, my expedition. Our scout ship has returned. Still. Scout ship. This place is so cute. He's adorable. I see an herb. Where's the thing though? Do you have I think I feel like they all have the same things. She but Inu ears. I feel like that's new. Bienfu hat? Is that new? I want Bienfu hat for Aizen. Ah. That's okay. Um. Okay, let's go. Where do I go? This way. Oh. 
This port is adorable. Oh. Whoa! It's like a castle. Oh. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of Greece. This used to be the base of operations. Oh wait, I've never been there, but the family. way that they built the trouble came knocking. They were ready for it, to say the least. Wow. They must have had a lot of enemies. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it's just another town in the middle of nowhere. But even so, to us, it was the big city of our dreams. You know this area well. I grew up near here. Keep on going, and you'll run into a ball. My home village. Oh, that's right. Yep, I knew then it. That's near her house. The Therian is. Yeah, somewhere in my village. Is that okay? No one will know me there. You don't look that different. Everyone I knew, I already devoured. Oh, that's right. It's not just the hat, it's the whole Norman head. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was the hat. That would have been so cool. Best Magali skit here is here. Okay, can't wait. Yeah. All of her skits have been pretty cool. Oh my goodness, Kitty's on the street. What? I better have enough. I saw a lot of kitties in the streets last week on vacation. There was one fat kitty whose tail was gone. I'm like, kitty, what battles have you have you been through? I hope you won. I felt real bad. Um, oh, this voice skit. You're travelers, right? How are other towns doing? Is the demon blight as bad as they say? Demons are attacking cities all the world over, and the demon blight is spreading like wildfire! It's nuts! That's terrible. Living in this town, I almost forgot about the demons. There hasn't been a case of demon blight here since the advent. Nothing much has changed over the past three years. Knock on wood, girl. Yeah. This town's the same as it's always been. You've been here before? Many times. Really now? Wait, there is something that changed. The prickle bore meat. The prickle bore meat? Yep, it's gotten much easier to get your hands on high quality tasty meat. The hunters are probably able to do so well because they don't have to worry about demon attacks. Well, I hope you enjoy your return to Taliesin. Have fun. A town without demons. Hmm. Could be there's a Therian at the Earth Pulse Point in Eastgan that's devouring the malevolence. What do you think? That would certainly explain things. Yeah. I feel like we know this Therian there. Good day. How are you liking Taliesin? I bet you're surprised not to see any exorcists. Yeah. I've never been to a town like this. The exorcists stationed in Eastgand often leave to help deal with problems in other parts of the world. Then again, few are stationed here to begin with. Are they on another of those expeditions now? That's right. They're currently in Northgand, helping put down a group of dangerous demons. Even though they're gone, we still have regular exorcist patrols stop by. We feel safe enough with them. Maybe they should just move the capital to Eastgand. Of course, I know there's no way that would happen. <laughs> this guy. <sighs> I just love the feel of the sun on my face. I'm glad the fog finally cleared up. For days it was so thick, you couldn't see past your own nose. We're lucky a demon didn't show up in all that fog. Hmm? Eastgan hasn't had much demon trouble to speak of. Not you know wood. Oh my god, During everyone's saying it. Towns all across Eastgand were attacked by demons. It was Lord Artorius who saved us. Ever since, our towns have seen almost no demon attacks. Is that true? Oh, pardon me, Lady Exorcist. But if you're with the Abbey, surely you've heard about how things are here in Eastgand. Of course, demons are lurking about outside our towns. But for whatever reason, they don't attack us where we live. That sounds unbelievable. Everyone who visits us from abroad says the same thing. But this is neither joke nor lie. 
Everyone says that Lord Artorius's power lingers here, protecting our town against the demons. Whatever the reason, you're safe here. Relax, and please enjoy yourselves. Thank you. We appreciate it. Why do demons avoid these towns? Very odd. Ah, oh, damn! I forgot today was the day Nico was coming. I missed out on buying that special quiche. <sighs> That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop here. You'd think it would be easier than always having to make the long trek from a ball. I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. Hey, Nico, her friend? What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin! What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. <laughs> sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. That can't be... It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico. Who comes here once a We're week to go sell see things? Her. Just yesterday, my husband sent medicine to the general store there and got some oh. juicy prickle bore meat in return. Wait, that can't be right. I, with my own hand, I velvet. So they can come back alive. <laughs> I feel like What's that's such a on? funny. That's what I'd like to know. His response to her saying, "A ball's gone." It's like, oh, you morbid young woman. <laughs> I should totally say that to anyone who says, says anything map, bad to me. But it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. Do you think a new group of settlers moved in? No, Apparently same people. Apparently that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She said something about Artorius having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse point? I can't say. We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. We won't find the truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together. Forever, probably. Oh. You morbid young man. You morbid young lady. Mmm. Oh. Probably a treasure chest here isn't there. Oh, it's just a home. What? Where am I going? I didn't learn how to do this yet. Okay. I'm getting dizzy. Uh, I want to go back into the stores. Kind of. And then see if there's any skits in there. Not Meg. There aren't. Okay. What's up, girl? Okay. 
Let's stay here. Let's see if there's anything. I need to get. Everything is a hundred gold. I appreciate that. There's no difference in price. Okay, nothing. Uh, that's for that guy. Mm. Have I gone up here? Aha! Mm. Something down here. Oh, there's the uh, hunting thing. Yeah. Um, Figo ice caps. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen him. Uh, the Vol Forest. I'm guessing I'm gonna be there later. Pernia Cliffside Path. What is that? What are those things in his tail? That's real creepy. Morgana Woods. Tranquil Woods. Ooh. Okay. Alright. I can go back up here now. There's a voice get right. Oh, no. Thought it was right next to me, but it's not. What's this thing? Oh, this is the, uh... I can use my skateboard here. Aw, oh, yeah. I think oh. so I think earlier between the two places with that I don't know how to say it it's not that I didn't learn it it's that I didn't have a skateboard thing to do it yet ask me what this town's known for answer stairs yeah I've never seen this many stairs before in my life <clears throat> You're close to the sea, and the weather is beautiful and everything, but doesn't all this climbing make life here hard? Not I at bet all. everybody here I has an amazing the booty. here since I was a child. A little climb like this is nothing. Everyone raised here has a strong set of legs and a sturdy back. You couldn't turn a profit selling back medicine here. No way, no how. And an amazing booty. Booty. Um, I wouldn't be so mad if I lived in a place with lots of stairs and it was the norm. <clears throat> oh gosh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, I totally wouldn't mind. Like that having festival good... over in a ball sure was fun, wasn't it? It sure was. Festival? What a cheerful and happy place. And the food was amazing. I'd love to go back So the people there are totally sometime. fine now. I loved the prickle boar meatballs. Nico's quiche was so good, it was a master quiche. <laughs> this Nico must be a great cook. I'd love to try this master quiche. <laughs> Where did you learn a joke like that? Anyway, Taliesin's Fisherman Festival is coming up soon. We've got to show the folks from Abal a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna help my uncle catch lots of tasty fish for the festival. What do you think you'll catch? Uh, pickled mackerel, tuna rolls, oh, and duck stew. <laughs> Those are all the names of dishes, silly. And a duck isn't a fish, it's a bird. I swear, you don't think of anything but food. Nico's quiche. God damn it, boy. 
You got me all hungry. I really want food now. All of that sounded freaking delicious. Oh. I want everything. Uh, okay. So. Oh yeah, I want to try out that place. Was it up here? Yeah, it was. Oh god, but this is making me dizzy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ugh, oh, my head. Wait, was it this way? Yeah, 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 right here. This, this is what I'm talking about. So I just need to use my, my board. Oh! What? Got it. <gasps> oh, no. It's heartbreaking. Bam! like I'm getting lost already. Uh, oh! This way? Oh, the church! Yes, yes, yes! Where's the pastor? There he is. Can't speak to him. Why? But why? Oh, I guess I can't do the side quest here. Where they confess. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so that's where I came from. I need to go. Look at all these kitties. So cute. <clears throat> uh. Ah, yeah, I did it. Found my we'll way. We just have to go there and see for ourselves. Which way is your village? It's far to the east, through the Morgana Woods. I remember the I Morgana Woods. I wonder what Woods. Velvet's hometown is like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place, and it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me. It was cute. I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. She was. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? N not at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well, I imagine she was a plain, hardworking girl. She was. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet she was a cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Mm. She was pretty awesome. And now she's the Lord of Calamity. If she sees her former friends, maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. But what has she lost? Are they talking about all this stuff right next to her? 